If you're looking for the best kitchen knife set, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Cuisinart C77's 1515 piece block set. These are excellent knives for the budget, overall inexpensive while not being so cheap as to make you instantly suspicious of their motives. As a baseline kitchen knife set, this set is superb. It includes a Santoku knife, the Japanese equivalent to a chef's knife, and my preferred for chopping heavy vegetables, an actual chef's knife better for small and light vegetables like bell peppers or green onions, a slicing knife, two pairing knives, one a bird's beak, a serrated utility knife, and six serrated steak knives, plus shears and sharpening steel. Of course, block is sturdy and unassuming, while complementing the color of the knives themselves quite well. As mentioned, a high carbon content is a desirable quality in knives, making them sharper and retain their edge longer. This doesn't completely remove the need for maintenance, but it does reduce it. Moving on to the next at number two with Kalfalin Classic Self-Sharpening Knife Block Set. High carbon stainless steel is a solid material, if not as good as regular high carbon steel. These hold their edge well, sharpen quite nicely, and are durable over the long term. The block on this one is quite nice looking and is an interesting design, doubling as a sharpener. It has a ceramic sharpening edge built into every knife slot. I wouldn't buy the set just for this feature, but it's a nice extra. This is a 12 piece set and includes all the staples, chef's knife, santoku knife, serrated utility knife, Pairing knife, six steak knives, shears, and a sharpening block. You get a lot for what you're paying, and all of the knives available are great. The price here is about double our baseline, and well worth it. It's quite a great price for what you get. The number three position is held by Mercer Culinary Genesis Six Piece Forge Knife Block Set. These are German high carbon, non staining knives, notably not stainless steel. These are tough, easy to sharpen and extraordinarily sharp knives if you take even the bare minimum care of them. The grips are Santa Prime, which is kind of an extra flexible rubber. They are non-slip and moisture wicking, and don't break down when exposed to oil. So these are very durable, ergonomic, and slip-resistant knife grips. While the set lacks some of what you'd consider staples to take knives, shears, a sharpener it includes great versions of a paring knife, chef's knife, bread knife, boning knife, and utility knife. This covers most of what you'll find yourself needing when preparing food, if not when eating it. While high even more than the set just above, it is more than reasonable for the quality of these knives. It's well worth the investment. Next at number 4 we have Kangshin Nun Series Forge Knife Block Set. This knife set boasts a huge variety of knives. A chef and a santoku knife, a cleaver, a bread knife, a carving knife, a boning knife, a fine edge utility knife, and a serrated utility knife along with a set of eight serrated steak knives. Rounding it out are a carving fork and a pair of very sturdy kitchen shears. The steel is a high carbon, harder than average, 58 on the Rockwell hardness scale, slightly above the minimum of 56 for good steel, the well below the 66 maximum, and quite pleasing to the eye. It holds its edge well and is durable in the long term, with a lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects. NSF graded to be safe for cooking. Block is well shaped and made of a very nice walnut wood, each handcrafted and uniquely grain. The number 5 position is held by Chua Kitchen Knife Set. These are quite beautiful and sturdy Packetwood handles. Packetwood is a wood and plastic composite material commonly used for kitchen knives. Unlike wood, it won't expand or shrink over time and feels very nice in the hand, being somewhat moisture wicking. These handles are well shaped and very nice to look at. By far my favorite of the knives we've looked at thus far. This is a better execution on the block design the Mercer Culinary set used, with no ugly glass in the way and a more comfortable angle to pull the knives from. I still think it's unnecessary overall, but if you're going to assume people don't remember where their knives are, you could do far worse than this design. The number 6 position is dominated by Westoff Classic Slim Knife Block Set. Blades are sharp, strong, and easily sharpened, while stainless steel, it is a high carbon variant making it a bit of a cut above regular stainless steel at least. For average kitchen use this is good. Polyxymphaline is a great material for handles. While not as non-slip as other options, it's also a lot more durable over the long term, being highly resistant to chipping, 
cracking, fading, or discoloration unlike rubber handles. Plus, I've always liked how it looks on knife handles. While it doesn't have a ton of knives, it has pretty much everything anyone will ever actually use in the kitchen. You get a paring knife, a serrated utility knife, a chef's knife, a kiritsu prep knife, and a bread knife, plus some very great shears that come apart if you need them to. Not slip as other options. It's also a lot more durable over the long term, being highly resistant to chipping, cracking, fading, or discoloration unlike rubber handles. Plus, I've always liked how it looks on knife handles. While it doesn't have a ton of knives, it has pretty much everything anyone will ever actually use in the kitchen. You get a paring knife, a serrated utility knife, a chef's knife, a kiritsu prep knife, and a bread knife, plus some very great shears that come apart if you need them to. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Shunt Classic 6-Piece Slim Knife Block Set. Handles are high-quality packawood. They last a long time and are surprisingly comfortable despite what appearances might suggest. Block is a nice understated dark wood with a very slim profile, looking nice on a countertop while taking up very little space in the grand scheme. A paring knife, a santoku knife, and a chef's knife plus shears and a honing steel are all this comes with, but these knives themselves are the most versatile available, and given the overall quality of each individual knife, it's more than enough where a lesser set would need a few other knives to round everything out. The number 8 position is held by a global 7-piece Akasu knife block set. The blades are quite excellent steel, with a seriously fine edge, a symmetrical beveled grind, as opposed to many Japanese kitchen knives which use an asymmetrical grind. The blades hold their edge well, are easy to resharpen with household available tools, and amazingly sharp, which ensures they are safe to use. Next at number 9 we have Victorinox Swiss Army Cutlery Fibrox Pro Knife Set. Blades are cold-tempered Swiss steel and are easy to sharpen while holding a very good edge. They're not the best knives I've ever seen in this regard but are quite serviceable as kitchen cutlery and will last quite a long time. Handles are understated but non-slip, even when wet. They're shaped nicely and comfortably for the human hand and don't look too bad to stick in a block or unroll from a knife sleeve. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Cuisinart C55 112X knife set. These knives are quite cheap, but I'd say just shell out the slightly extra cash for our baselines set if you're looking for cheap knives. These knives are around a third of the price of our baseline set, which makes them quite affordable. Color coding the knives is an interesting idea for making each knife distinct while within the block. This knife set comes with every basic type of knife you'd want for most everyday kitchen tasks. You have a chef's knife, paring knife, serrated utility knife, serrated bread knife, slicing knife, and santo ku knife. That's all for today. We upload house product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.